This week on Miked Up, Michael Voris will be joined by former presidential candidate and devout Catholic Dr. Alan Keyes. They will be discussing the revolution that is brewing in the United States, the push for the impeachment and removal of President Barack Obama, and what all this means for the Christian faithful. All that and more coming up this week on Miked Up. We go live with Dr. Alan Keyes on Wednesday, October 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Please click the link for more details. Join Michael Voris in the Netherlands as he unravels the breakdown and restoration of Christian civilization. This event will take place in Nijmegen on November 15th and 16th. For more information, click on the link provided. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Some numbers just got released last week that show how much religion is taking a beating in the public square, especially Catholicism. But all Christian faiths seem to be taking it on the chin these days. In fact, given the plummeting numbers across the board, it could be described as a race to the bottom between Catholicism and many Protestant sects. For example, looking at the numbers of baptisms, Southern Baptists haven't seen this few baptisms in 65 years, 300,000 in what is America's second largest religious group. And in the leading group, Catholicism, another drop down from a million to less than 800,000 since 1970. In fact, there haven't been that few baptisms in the Catholic Church in the United States since all the way back to 1947, even earlier than the Baptists' plummeting began. But here's what's most troubling. The Catholic Church isn't supposed to be tracking the same way heretical groups are. That one heretical group after another would spring into existence, hang around for a couple centuries, and then fade away into nothingness. There's nothing new about that. As a matter of fact, there's a pretty strong precedent for that very thing. But those heretical groups are not protected by the Holy Spirit and infused with supernatural life. They are not the Bride of Christ. The Catholic Church is. So when the Catholic Church begins taking on the characteristics of groups espousing heresy, (laughs) something is deadly wrong. What's wrong is that the only church granted the internal capacity for growth has abandoned the mission to preach, or largely laid it aside, or completely reinterpreted it and translated it into something it was never meant to be. It is the nature of Protestant sects and groups to break apart, to disintegrate, to disintegrate, and fade away. But one of the four distinguishing marks of the true church is unity, which gives birth to continuity and vitality. You lose these elements and a soulful self-examination is in order. Protestant sects are not protected from disintegration by God, but the Catholic Church is. So when you see that things are going the same way for the church personally established by God as it is for religious groups established by man, that tells you something very clearly that the leaders who exercise stewardship over the church of God are following the path of the church established by man. It's just that simple. So simple, in fact, that nothing else really needs to be said. So think about this simple point. The church, personally founded by Jesus Christ, is suffering the exact same fading to black that the religious groups founded by sinful men are. And it isn't enough for feminized, weak male leaders of the Catholic Church in America to bemoan and whine about the culture and secularism and how every religion, religious group is getting walloped. None of those false religions enjoy the exalted status that the Catholic faith enjoys by virtue of her founder. We are different, very different, and it's time we started realizing it. And that begins with the leaders. God love you. I'm Michael Voris. Hi, I'm John Paul Volkanen. And I'm Jim Cables. We're here at the Church Militant TV studios from Cleveland. You should sign up at Church Militant TV for a premium account for only $10 a month or a free account, which you get all the daily shows like the Vortex and Church Militant TV news. We really enjoyed our tour here. Thank, Thank you. you.